Uh, just before we start the game, start the match though, it is about to start. Um, I've got to say that I've seen a lot, and I'm not, you know, we're, we're here to have proper conversation, whether it's your favourite packet of crisps, what you have on your Christmas dinner, um, Agony Bridge, you know, helping people out with real problems, like the guy whose wife met, let, missed him the other day, left him the other day. Um, I can help with all this sort of stuff. But um, the... Uh, the Joey Barton stuff that's going on, uh, basically, he's been at it for a few, about a month now. And um, he obviously turned his telly on on Thursday night. I didn't watch the game on Thursday night between Everton and Brentford. I saw the red card. It was ridiculous. And apparently, the ITB coverage had... Um, was it an all... Was it... I don't know. Was it an all-female panel talking about the match? And um, this sent Joey Barton into meltdown. And uh, then ITV put a tweet out. Gary Neville got involved. A lot of people getting involved. Um, I, I don't know because I didn't watch it. And guess what? If you don't like the panel on ITV or BBC or TNT or Sky, or you don't like the commentator, guess what? On here, you see that button that says mute? You can mute it. Or if you don't like the punditry after the game, you see this plus button or the menu, you can change the channel. Um, so realistically, I think it's, I think, it, I, you know what, I think, I think Joey Barton's probably gone too far, but at the start of it, I thought it was, um, um, quite clever. I think he's uh, just trying to, you know, get himself some exposure by being controversial. He has gone too far in my opinion, but ultimately I think ITV statement has to come out and I think Gary Neville making a statement was right, but expect the backlash from him because we live in a world where people can have an opinion and you can't live in a world where everything's forced down your throat um my daughter plays football i've got no i've got no real issue with uh, female panelists female female commentators i've you know there's certain male commentators that i think are absolutely trash so i'm not going to start saying you can't have female uh, commentators or anything like that but if you don't like it don't watch it it's not it's not you know if, if Joey Barton actually communicated in a proper way instead of doing it in a sensationalist way about serial killers and stuff like that, he's probably not on the... He's probably not far off making a point that we don't agree with, but, you know, you, you can't argue with in the sense that if he doesn't like female panellists, he doesn't have to like it and he can tweet about it. If he puts a tweet out and say, I don't like that ITV coverage, I just, I thought it was a bit crap. Um, I don't think anyone can have a real problem with it. They can call him a sexist, but he doesn't have to watch it. It's the way he takes it to a level that is wrong for me because everybody's got a right to talk about football. But um, these people trying to shut him down, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I don't think he should be shut down. I don't, I think it's, it's, a, it's a nice glimpse into the real world that vile opinions exist. You know, murderers exist. You know, horrible people exist. Uh, we can't just cancel them and pretend that they don't exist. Uh, sometimes it's good to be aware of them and it, and it you know, it helps you. Um, I don't like the cancel culture of it. Oh, he's got to shut up and apologise. If he believes in that sort of stuff, there's worse people than Joey Barton out there. Um, you've just got to form your own opinion. So what, what gets on my nerves is the people who go, he, he can't say that. He's not allowed to say that. Of course he can. People say a lot worse than I don't like female presenters on ITV. He can say it, um, and some people will agree with him. Deal with it. Deal with it. I don't agree with him, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to panic or be outraged by it because I hear a lot worse, and we all do in a day-to-day -day life. Score bridge. That's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so you never miss a clip again. In fact. Smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.